Match 53 underway with the sandstorm period. Robots flying out of the habitat and towards their scoring areas. 4681, very tall right now, heading back to pick up possibly a hatch panel. 3588 with the hatch panel on the nose of the red cargo ship, and that will help the scoring as Red Alliance with a 17 to 12 advantage as the sandstorm clears. All null hatch panels on both cargo ships for this match. 5450 Shrek is bypassed, so it'll be three on two for the Blue Alliance the rest of the way here. That's not going to slow down their alliance partners, though, as the Talon and Bearcat Robotics more than up to the challenge. Story right now, though, is Olympia Robotics Federation with cargo in the blue cargo ship. And Murphy's Law, true to their name, they're a little bit high and possibly being called for fouls there, but they're back under control and ready to roll. Coming up on a minute and a half to play, the Red Alliance with an 11 point lead, 29 to 18. We see the Talon coming out of the Alliance station area with cargo. Bearcat with a hatch panel. They crisscross in the middle of the field in 3588, looking for a home for that cargo. The Talon, meanwhile, trying, or check that, Bearcat Robotics trying to place that hatch panel on the front side. Red Rocket, no good there, but the Talon is true with their cargo. And the Red Alliance lead up to 32 to 18 as we approach one minute to play. Murphy's Law loses control of their cargo. They head back and pick up some more from the depot. The Olympia Robotics Federation cargo already in their possession. We know they can score, though sometimes they take a little while, and they're going to make their way to the cargo ship for just that purpose now. 45 seconds now to play, and the lead is 11 points for the Red Alliance, 32 to 21. The Talon places another hatch panel, this time on the rear side rocket, Bearcat Robotics. Moving around the field with no game piece in their possession, they're going to head back to join their alliance partner, Shrek, on the HAB. Unfortunate turn of events, Shrek being parked and disabled in front of level three of the HAB. That'll prevent any of the partners from climbing, most likely. But at the end of the game, still to come, we see that Bearcat Robotics able to at least get to level two. 44.50, the Olympia Robotics Federation puts in one last piece of cargo, and as the final seconds tick away, we say goodbye to qualification match 53. <laughs> Referees indicating they've got something to look at, so we'll let them powwow, and we'll get back with your official results in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Head referee Aaron Schmitz moving on to the field, issuing a yellow card to Team 4681 for repeated violations of Rule G12. That is extending above the top of the Alliance Station wall repeatedly during a match. Once again, a yellow card issued to Team 4681 for repeated violations of Rule G12, extending above the top of the Alliance Station wall during gameplay. Scores otherwise accurate and verified. And with that, we can see victors in this match are the Red Alliance. They take it home with a total of 43 to 33, two ranking points there, and that helps Talon hold on to the number five spot, bringing their alliance partners up with them. As we clear the field and get ready for match number 54, a reminder.